What's up beautiful people, this is Mike from MyGadgetsWorld and in today's video we're going to be looking at whether the Sony A90J has two HDMI 2.1 ports, are they 48 Gbps or they are 40 Gbps? So in order to check that I have attached my gaming PC to the TV. So let me show you right there. That's the gaming PC, it has the NVIDIA RTX 3080 and you can see that right inside there. Yep, and it is connected where the HDMI and HDMI port is HDMI 4.4 here because Sony has HDMI 3 and HDMI 4 which is capable of doing the HDMI 2.1 with 4K 120 Hertz. So you have to make sure that you're using the right HDMI cable. The one I'm using is called Zeskit and I'll put the link in the description guys, go check it out. If you're looking for a cable and you had bad experiences with the cable, I'll say just stop looking around. I have myself like about four to five HDMI cables and they're all from the Zeskit. And this is the one like a lot of like professional, you know, reviewers use that. So I'll just say that use something that is proven and we have already, you know, tested. So. We'll test that cable here as well in this video. So you're gonna figure out like whether it can do full bandwidth or not because maximum you can do is 48 uh, Gbps. So first I wanna pull something up for you guys so you can see that. We're gonna look up the HDMI bandwidth. I usually go to Artings for that because they have really nice chart where you can look at what do you actually need. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in and I hope you can see right here. Okay, right here in the 4K Ultra HD, in order to do 120 Hertz at full RGB or YCBCR 444 12-bit, you need the Ultra certified cable and you need 48 Gbps of the bandwidth. So guys, if you're trying to get that 48 Gbps, you gotta make sure that you have the compatible HDMI 2.1 graphic card, which is the NVIDIA RTX 3000 series, and also there's AMD series. I'm not sure about the AMD because I'm gonna talk about what I have. So I have the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Founders Edition, and it can do up to 48 Gbps, and also it can do 12-bit 444 HDR. So that's the maximum that you can get, and you need ultra cable for that, ultra certified cable, 48 Gbps. Okay, so now we know what we are looking for. We're gonna be going and matching all of these variables. The one for 12 bit, 48 Gbps, and 444. We're gonna have to do the same thing in the NVIDIA control panel to test it out. So let's go and do that. Okay, I'm gonna minimize this screen right here, and let's go to NVIDIA control panel. All right guys, so we are in the NVIDIA control panel and by default, by native, your TV is gonna be connected to 2160p 60 hertz because it is detecting it as a TV, right? Ultra HD. So it's gonna be HD TV. But what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be coming down on the list and you have to be here, right here, where you see the PC and it has to be 3840 into 2160p. So otherwise you won't see the 120 Hertz if you are still on that HD TV settings and in the Ultra HD. So you have to go and select the PC resolution for this case. All right guys, so we're gonna select this one right here. And as soon as you click on that, we have now 120 Hertz and we have 100 Hertz. So we're gonna keep it at 120 Hertz. And we're gonna go, so it's usually here by default color settings, but we're gonna click on the use NVIDIA color settings, we're gonna be customizing it. So we're gonna select the 32 bit, that's what only option we have. And here it's usually at 10 bits, you're gonna go select the 12 bits. And we're gonna have to select YCBCR444. So as soon as we do that, and we click on apply, if we see nothing on the screen and it reverts back to the same settings for the 60 Hertz and go back to HDTV, that means the HDMI 
2.1 on the TV is limited. It's, it can do 40 GB, 48 GBPS. But we're gonna hit apply and see what's gonna happen. Okay, and it is saying that the configuration has changed. You wanna keep it? Yes, we're gonna keep it. All right, guys, so now you can see that we managed to get 2160p, 120 hertz. It's 12 bit. We got YCBCR444 and it's limited. And this is the exact configuration that you have on the website right here. In order to get 444, 4, 12 bits, 48 GBPS Ultra, you are looking at 444, 12 bits, and you're looking at 2160p, 120 hertz, and also, that's not it. We're looking at the HDR as well, 12 bit HDR. So we're gonna go to display settings, and you can see that we have the HDR on. So guys, this tells us that the HDMI 2.1 that we have in the Sony A90J, it is full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 cable, 48 Gbps. I tried doing this with another TV and I wasn't able to get that 48 Gbps full bandwidth. And yes, I'm talking about the Samsung Neo QLED TV. Uh, it has only one HDMI 2.1 port and it, it, it couldn't get there where it can show the HDR 12 bit. So that's a good thing about Sony. There are two HDMI 2.1 ports, but they both are fully functional. They're full capable of doing the uh, 48 Gbps bandwidth. Okay, one thing that we have to see in the TV that I'm gonna walk you through, if you can get the 120 Hertz uh, at all from the beginning, you have to make sure that you have the proper setting in the TV. So we're gonna go to the setting and we're gonna go to the input setting, channels and input, the first one, and we're gonna go to the external inputs and you're looking at the HDMI signal format. So as I said that my HDMI is connected to HDMI 4 and you have to make sure that you are in the enhanced format. If you're not in the enhanced format, you're in the standard format, that's where you're gonna have issues. You're not gonna get the 120 hertz, you're not gonna get the HDR. So make sure that the HDMI that you are selecting for your PC or for your gaming console like this over there or the Xbox Series X. Make sure you are in the extended uh, enhanced format. Let me lower my ISO so you can see it. What options do we have? So we have the enhanced format Dolby Vision. That's what you can do for if you have Xbox Series X. So guys, that's all I have from this video. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like on this video. Oh, hit the like on this video. Man, I'm totally, you know, I talk a lot. Okay, so like this video, share this video, and subscribe the channel if you really like the content. And let me know in the comment section what do you want to see from the next coming videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out. Stay safe, guys. Love you all.